I was in a car accident. Uni this week has been so disruptive. And I'm gonna have to start running again. Create a file that condenses everything about the assignment. All matchy matchy. Some good news that I needed. You'd think after the last two years I would have gotten the hang of Zoom. <laughs> and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is gonna be a great week. I hope you are all feeling refreshed and ready for the week that lies ahead. I'm feeling really good this morning. It's Monday morning. There's blue skies outside. We love to see it. And I've had a really productive morning. I got up at 5.30, got myself organized for the week and then decided since today is gonna to be such a busy day and I feel like a lot of Mondays are. Um, I had a lot of uni work on my to-do list that I wanted to make sure I definitely got done because that's kind of like the biggest priority in my day and once I've like knocked that over I feel so much better. So yeah I did all of my readings for the week ahead which was a task and a half let me tell you. I'd already done a few last week, finished all the readings for this week and did some pre-workshop activities for one of my subjects. I have just gotten ready and I'm about to head off to Pilates and then after Pilates um, I'm going with Pav to the physio because he's injured and then I'm gonna get some groceries and then spend the rest of the day pretty much just doing uni work and getting things sorted because I've got an assignment to start this week and I also just want to be a little bit more on top of my classes. If you watched last week's weekly vlog I was kind of telling you guys how overwhelming the first week of my masters was um, but I feel like as the weeks go on I'll be able to get into the groove of like what work needs to be done and the rhythm of classes. This week I feel like I'm in a much better position and I can be organized and feel a bit more on top of my work. But yeah it should be a good week. It's going to be busy but productive. I just really have a lot of good energy for the week ahead. But yeah I'll show you guys my outfit that I'm wearing Pilates today. My shorts are Gymshark, the Vital Seamless 2.0 they are my favorite sports bra is do you even and this top is literally from cotton on like years and years ago but it's the perfect little pilates chuck over i didn't vlog over the weekend but i had a really good day yesterday making my spaces nice and fresh for the week i like completely reorganized all of these spaces a few spare pots as you guys can see that i need to put some propagations or plants in but basically i had to go and treat all of my plants that's a whole nother story but literally took it all out of here and it looks so bare also i got this cute little vase at ikea yesterday how cute but there's a plant for here that is currently outside and then yeah I've got some new pots but yeah I'm going to head off to Pilates now and we're gonna have a productive start to the week today has not been my day I'm not having a great day and this is definitely not how I had anticipated my week starting off. I don't think anyone anticipates these kinds of things. But after the gym this morning, I was in a car accident. Thankfully, everyone is fine. Pav was in the car with me. He was the passenger um, and I was driving my car. I read my cheeks off from the stress. Like It has just been such a morning. This happened like four hours ago and I'm still like shaky overwhelmed because it was honestly one of those moments like the scariest thing where you actually think for a good couple of seconds i'm gonna die my car was spinning there were so many sounds it was so loud thankfully everyone is okay after the gym have picked me up and i took over for driving and we were driving to the physio and we were going through like an intersection like two lanes each way i was in the right hand lane going straight through the intersection and there was cars in a turning lane on the opposite direction of traffic um, that cut across the two lanes of traffic that I'm driving on. It's like a turn when it's safe to do so kind of thing. Um, like they don't have an arrow. So you just have to watch the traffic that's coming. And the first two cars went through fine, completely in front of me. 
and then there was a like truck driver that was just I assume following the cars in front but Pav said he was watching him and we both knew that he wasn't stopping. The two cars cleared, the lights changed to amber but I was still going through the intersection like I just I was approaching my line kept going because I'm going straight it's my lane and he just had I don't know whether he was on his phone or wasn't watching or whatever but he just kept on turning luckily we both saw him Pab said his eyes were not on the road and I swerved into the left lane then to try and avoid him but he still clipped the back of my car so he did not stop at all was not paying attention clipped the driver's back right side of my car the wheel is absolutely cooked um and yeah smashed the back so you can't actually open the back door it could have been way worse like i said to pav if i didn't swerve to get away from him i don't know he would have hit the driver's side and i may not be here talking about this definitely a scary situation nonetheless and yeah i was just so shaky like i feel so sick and i have the worst headache and now it's just annoying because if you watch last week's vlog my anxiety hasn't been great lots of like panic attacks just really struggling with my anxiety so like all of last week i worked so hard on my mental health to just like feel okay yeah and this week i really had good energy <laughs> this week and now i've got to make an insurance claim i have to get my car fixed i don't think that's gonna be a fast thing either and my car's not drivable so i'm gonna have no car for maybe a month maybe two months and yeah just deal with all the insurance stuff but not having a car in itself is just an annoying thing but was just really distressing because i got out of the car and the guy was not friendly whatsoever which is just so uncomfortable like he was saying some very nasty things don't want to keep talking about it just letting you guys know that's that i am so exhausted um i'm just making some very late lunch now and yeah pav's just doing some uni and i'm gonna try and calm myself down i think this afternoon do a few things for myself maybe try and do a bit of uni um and then start fresh tomorrow it's been a crazy morning good morning guys it is tuesday today and i've had a really slow and intentional start to the day as you probably see in my energy i'm feeling very anxious still today and i'm trying the best to get myself feeling better and to just kind of make it through the day honestly I just feel like i have a very heavy heart today but anyway i woke up this morning and did two meditations i will tell you guys which ones they are if you guys like meditating i use the app insight timer it's a free app um and yeah i've only just started using it but i found the meditations really really good on there um and a nice like change up from what i used to use this is the one that i did this morning as soon as i woke up that was wake up with a loving morning practice um, and then after that I did this one which was relieving anxiety and feeling grounded so yeah that was good I'm proud of myself for doing that today I have quite a bit of uni to get done uh, because I obviously didn't do a lot of uni yesterday lucky I was productive yesterday morning so I got at least a bit done but I want to get some more done today and I'm gonna have to start running again because I don't have a way to get to the gym so I'm gonna do a cardio session today and just see how I go. I'm trying to be still kind to myself, but I know exercising makes me feel really good. So I'm just gonna do an incline walk and then do some hit sprints and yeah, just see how I feel. But yeah, gonna tidy up my spaces, make everything feel a little bit better. I've put some washing on, I unpacked the dishwasher. I just wanna like tidy up my spaces a little bit so that I feel a little bit lighter to get through the uni, uni day.
I'm coming to you today from my bed, lying down, because I've had a day and a half. I'm so tired. Like, the past couple of weeks, there's just been a lot, and I just feel like I'm so exhausted and, like, so tired. Like, last night I literally slept like a log, and then I woke up this morning and I was like, I need sleep. But anyway, I did film a clip this morning, but... I'm not going to put it in this vlog because I was being a bit of a sad sack. I'm not going to lie, I had a pretty emotional day. I had a bit of a breakdown this afternoon and I think just like trying to hold it all together, try to conquer everything, do everything, my emotions just get built up and I just let them all out this afternoon. And I've been finding it so hard to concentrate on uni at the moment. Just with everything going on and my anxiety, I just like, I can't concentrate on what's happening. And I feel so lost in like what I'm doing. I was talking about this in my last weekly vlog. I feel like I'm so stupid in my masters. It's only the second week, but I just feel like everybody is like ex-teachers or have like had a business for 15 years or been a professional this and that. And I'm like, I don't know anything. I feel like I don't have enough skills to bring to the table. And I know I have like all my psych stuff, all my behavioral stuff and mental health background that I want to bring to the education space. At the same time, right now, like you can't help but like second guess yourself and be like, am I good enough? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? There's been all of that to deal with and settling into this new routine. And then obviously this week hasn't really gone to plan and there's been a lot of extra stress and stuff to deal with. After my little breakdown this afternoon, things picked up a little bit, which is really, really good right now. I still have a lot of work to do on myself and anxiety wise and whatnot. My insurance claim was lodged and I'm not at fault, which I knew, but I was still nervous about because I thought I was going to have to pay my excess, which was a lot of money. And I would have had to dip into my savings fund for my house, which I did not want to do. So that was really good news. And then on top of that, my cover allows me to get a higher car. So my insurance pays for the higher car until my car gets fixed because my car actually can't be driven. It is not roadworthy at the moment. Like it literally cannot drive. There's a lot of damage that needs to be fixed, um, but really good because I will be able to have a car that gets me from A to B and allows me to have a little bit more independence, um, which was worrying me a little bit in terms of like not being able to live my life and like having to rely on other people. I hate relying on other people, especially like to drive or to like pick me up or take me somewhere. Good news. Um, and obviously because it's not my fault, they let me get a higher car and they pay for that. So I feel really, really lucky and grateful. That was some good news that I needed today. Yeah, that's just kind of an update on my end and hopefully that takes a bit of the anxiety away. But yeah, I just feel like I need a really good sleep. I still have so much you need to do. Oh, but anyway, I've just had a shower. I am gonna go downstairs and make myself an ice magic milk from Botanica. It's supposed to be like a hot chocolate blend, but I've been like icing it and it's just chef's kiss. So good. And then watch maths with my mama. I will see you tomorrow. Hello guys, it is Thursday. Today I am feeling very, very nauseous. I feel sick when I'm anxious and today I just feel really, yeah, stomach churny -y. But trying to get through today and get a little bit more uni work done because uni this week has been so disruptive. But yeah, I just got a package and I thought I'd show you. Uh, I think it was last week I bought um, a little like surprise little present for Pav. He's doing up his room a little bit um, and moving some furniture out and just like refreshing it, getting it organized. Um, and he also just got a new job. I thought this was a nice little celebratory present, but also a very practical present. So I really hope he likes it. He has a queen bed. He doesn't have like a proper sheet set for his bed. And he also doesn't have like a king sized doona so that it like goes over the edge of the bed. I really like that. I always have gotten like neck size up in the quilt set. Um, but like you can see like his mattress and it gives me a little bit of anxiety. So this is probably a little bit of a present for me as well. I decided to give him a present, give him a nice sheet set. So he's got one. I feel like everyone needs a nice sheet set, but I got him a new quilt cover set. I was a little bit worried about this color. 
Um, but I think it's going to go really nicely in his room. It's a little bit like beachy, which is what I was kind of going for. But yeah, it's just this quilt set. The material is really lovely. So yeah, this is a king cover set. And then obviously he needs the quilt to go in there. So I just bought this one. Um, this is a king and it's machine washable, which is good. Yeah, that feels all right. I was a little bit worried. And then I ended up getting the exact same color in the sheets to match. So it's like all matchy matchy, which I really like. And these sheets feel so good. I have this sheet set in like the mustard color. So I already know that these sheets are beautiful and they feel so soft and nice. I'm definitely seeing him sometime this weekend. Um, so yeah, I'll give that all to him then, but I'm glad the color looks all right. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and get a bit more uni work done today than I have been getting done. And yeah, hopefully it's a nice smooth sailing day. Hello guys, it is Friday afternoon. No, it's not. I wish it was. It is Thursday afternoon. Semi-productive, but also I feel like I'm a lot slower than I have been. Like I'm not in my productive, let's get stuff done state that I normally am in. Like I just feel like I can't concentrate this week and there's just so much fuzziness going on in my head. Um, but I'm trying my best to just get through stuff. I have missed a lot of uni classes this week. I'm not gonna lie. This week has obviously been very disruptive. Yeah, I've missed a whole bunch of classes and that doesn't help with the feeling of like being scattered and not knowing what's going on. So that's a little bit overwhelming. I just need to try and like clean up this week as best as that I can and move forward. And then next week, hopefully we're in a bit of a better situation and next week's classes will run a little bit smoother but i thought i am doing a little bit of like assessment prep because next month i have a whole bunch of assessment pieces to like one after the other so i'm working my way through them and making sure i understand the task sheet i know what to do i go through all the resources that we've been given and kind of condense it all and organize everything so i thought i'd show you guys that in case you guys are at uni um i used to do the same kind of thing in my bachelor but I find it especially helpful with this master's stuff because it's just, there's information <laughs> everywhere. Got a group meeting tomorrow for one of my group assignments. Um, so I had to like do all of this stuff earlier, but I've just done this for another assignment. So I thought I'd quickly run you through what I do. Pretty much every assignment has a task sheet. So the first thing I do, I prefer to print it off. It just seeps into my brain a little bit more. I do like to save paper, but this is like one thing that really does help. Like I highlight, I write notes, all that kind of stuff. So I go through and I just highlight all of the important information and just read through it, make sure I understand what the assignment is. That is step one. But then I create a little like assessment, like document, I guess. And I do this for all of my assignments and it really helps when you're being given a whole bunch of information, like you'll often be given the task sheet. Sometimes they'll give you some examples or some other documents that might be helpful for your assignment or like provide a bit more information. And then often they'll go through information on the assessment in tutorials and in your classes that your tutor will talk about them and your lecturer and stuff and so i kind of create a file that condenses everything about the assignment anyone who's spoken about it any resource for the assignment it's all kind of collated into one document and this just helps my brain so much like clears up all of the stress um, not all of the stress a lot of it <laughs> so yeah i'll show you what that looks like so this is what it currently looks like so i put a little bit of important information up the top i've got some links here to like resources um that i know i need to use like guidelines and stuff and then i've written a few dot points about the task and then this task has three parts so i've got the headings there and the word count for each so there's part one two and then down here is part three and i create like these little tables so they've got three different columns the first one is where i write directly from the task sheet what it says to do what i need to answer what the question is that i have to research or respond to i put that in here and then this is where i write my own notes so if i'm looking at research articles or getting information from somewhere this is where i answer the question and find you know write the research that i'm going to put into my assignment and then this third column it links up to 
the actual resource. So there'll be a link here and there'll be like heaps that I have to reference. So I hope that makes sense. This is like the question to answer, my notes, and then the reference. I find this really, really helpful um, when you're actually like writing the assignment. You know exactly what you're trying to answer, you know what you're responding to, and you've got all of your information and all of the things that you've thought of in that one column so it just makes writing the assignment a whole lot easier and then you've also got the reference there straight away so you can put in the reference and make it super quick and do the reference earlier rather than later because i i've been there i have done the whole like bracket ref and then i come back and i find out where that source is from later and it takes a very long time and let me tell you as you get busier as you get older it's just not a fun time doing that so save yourself some trouble and do the references early. I also need to keep my word on that because sometimes I slack off and I don't do that. Yeah, that was just a little bit of how I organize some of my assignment stuff. I haven't really haven't learned a lot of stuff for this assignment, so I haven't started it. This was just what I've done today. Um, and yeah, over the coming weeks I can add in different opinions because a lot of it is a bit of reflection stuff based on what we've learned so there we go that's my study helpful hint for today hello everyone it is friday today and i've just gone to pick up my rental car for my insurance that I have until my car gets fixed. They still haven't sent a tow truck to pick up my old car and I'm assuming they're not going to send a tow truck until they have space to fix it. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but anyway, they've given me a rental car until it's fixed. So at the moment I've got it for three weeks, but it may take longer than that to get in parts and stuff. So yeah, I've got a little Suzuki, a little five door. I'll show you a little bit, it's pretty standard. It's nothing crazy. Yeah, this is my little ride to get me through the next couple of weeks. I probably won't be driving much anyway and I definitely have a little bit more anxiety being behind the wheel. Yeah, I like that the dash is flat because it's really good for my camera. But yeah, I'll show you a little bit of the car. It's pretty standard in here, like, nothing crazy it's an auto i've just got my little phone cord in here just to charge my phone i've already moved a few things in it's got that new car smell i've put in an air freshener but let me whoops i did not mean to do that yeah this is the inside and this is just the outside i like the color the green but yeah i am honestly very relieved that that is all sorted because yeah i woke up this morning feeling very sick and anxious still today which isn't the greatest, but I'm just trying to ride it out. Yeah, stay honest with how this week is going because yeah, obviously at the start of this video, I was like, oh my God, gonna be a great week. And little did I know what was gonna happen. I mean, you don't plan for these things and you know, you just have to deal with it. Definitely didn't go how I had planned. Got the car, that's all sorted. Today I have a group meeting for one of my group assignments. Um, in about 20 minutes so i'm gonna jump on zoom talk to them about the assignment um and then just do some uni work today really and then i'm going to stay at my sister's house tonight have a little sleepover with her which i think will be really really nice have some laughs and just some good energy this week i really need that and we're just gonna have dinner and yeah spend some time together and tomorrow we're going to go and visit um some of our friends that's really lovely it's gonna be a wholesome weekend. Look how red my cheeks are. In case you haven't noticed in my vlogs, I get red cheeks when I get stressed. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hello. <laughs> Georgia, what are you studying? Yeah, I'm doing primary. Sorry. <laughs> You'd think after the last two years, I would have gotten the hang of Zoom. <laughs> it's such a growing field. Bring the mental health part to the education space and psychology awareness in younger kids, like, because it really sets them up. Bye, have a good day, everyone. I am going to end off this weekly vlog here because I am just sitting at my desk all afternoon and then I'm gonna head over to my sister's house, which I'm not gonna vlog and as you can tell from this vlog, it has been a very big week. Need some time off and I will start up another weekly vlog next week, which hopefully has a much more positive tone. Things just happen. Life happens. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this week. I'm sending you guys all a lot of love. Thank you for all of your love um, and kindness towards me on social media and yeah, you guys have just been really lovely so i'm thanking you guys a lot this week and i will see you all in another video very soon bye guys <laughs>